All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a budget update. Uh, this will probably be more or less um, the, the rest of September. Like this is kind of my September recap. Um, I might have to buy just a little bit of food before October, but I mean, more or less, this is uh, what September looked like. Uh, so first, if you are new here, welcome. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I will link one up here. Um, I like to do a budget video every Sunday. Um, I am a single parent to a four-year-old girl and I do live in Canada. Um, and that is all the stats you should know about me. So the way that I do my spending is I put everything on my visa. I do this for cash back. I have a lot of cash back. So I'm very happy about that um that that I've built up um so basically I put everything on my visa I pay it off right away so that is the trick to this if you cannot do that please do not follow that system um I do that because I get cash back so just by spending money by spending things that I would normally buy anyways I get cash back from that especially for things like food um any things that food and reoccurring expenses um I get more cash back for that. So this is my visa of what I spent. So I did go to Walmart. I spent 163. How it was 163, I honestly have zero idea whatsoever. Um, I broke this down uh, because it was from multiple different categories. So I broke it down to food because there was some food in there. There was some just general stock up that I'm putting into other. Um, and then some stuff that came out of my gift section because I had bought some gifts and some stuff for my, my daughter's birthday, um, which I will break down when I do the whole breakdown. So it was 163. Then food, I just spent $10. I just need a handful of things I don't remember. Um, shoppers, uh, it's Shoppers Drug Mart, so it's like a pharmacy in Canada, if you're not in Canada. Um, 2828. Um, really was not planning on spending this. Um, however, my daughter was sick. She was sick for a while, then I got sick, so I had to buy medicine, which I never buy, so was not planning on buying that, but it's okay is what it is. Um, then food 5421, which actually I was very happy with. Um, I did food shopping yesterday, um, used some coupons, got some cash back on some different apps, and I got a lot of stuff for that 54. Um, they had things like energy drinks. They had like, uh, oh, I actually have one right here. Mm, this is Coca-Cola energy drink. This is actually a cherry flavor. It tastes like a cherry coke uh, but it's an energy drink but these are on clearance because coke actually stopped buying stopped, stopped making me so if you like energy drinks um you should definitely go to your grocery stores and check this out because they're on mine was on sale for a dollar fifty so i stocked up on those so it was things like that stuff that i got in clearance i was very happy with then today i went to toys r us spent 124.46 um that came out of my advent calendar sinking fund, as well as my, a few, a little bit came out of the gift sinking fund. Um, I went there specifically for advent calendars. They actually didn't have a lot, so I could have done much worse, um, but I did get some for my daughter. I mean, she really wanted it. There was one that in particular she really wanted that I was able to find in the store that I couldn't find online for Toys R Us. So I was happy to get that. Then. I went to a party party store. It's not all balloons. I didn't spend eighty. <laughs> sorry, eighty dollars on balloons, um, but I did get balloons and then some other things in spirit for her birthday, um, and that was eighty dollars, which is not that bad because I always buy her balloons for her birthday. It's kind of like my thing that I do, so um, not that bad. Um, so then I had deposit of eight ninety six. Um, I put money on my visa of $200. Um, I went to the dollar store, spent 20 bucks. The fact that I only spent 20 bucks is actually very good. I was very impressed with myself. I only got a handful of things. I literally went in there for like um, 
wrapping paper, a card, you know, like just a few random things. I did not overspend. I just got, I just got those things. I was very happy. Um, that Michael's I had to get, I wanted to get some melting chocolate. So, um, I got some from there. Um, I was actually very happy because I got some pink, I got pink, which is actually a hard color to find. And they had pumpkin spice and peanut butter. I was very excited about that. So that brought me a lot of joy. So <laughs> I spent $11. Um, then I just paid some bills. So 110, um, my hydro, I put 43, <coughs> sorry, still a little bit sick. Um, then my cell phone was 78. So for the breakdown so far, uh, so my other category so far, I have 390, 390.28. So again, that Walmart, which was like a big, large amount, um, I broke that up into food. So some of it went into my food budget, some of it went into my other, and some of it came out of a sinking fund. So three different things, because I bought so many different things from different categories um, that I just did the math and I guessed, I guessed, I didn't do the math exactly, I just kind of estimated that I spent $40 on food, for example. Um, then food, it looks like two thirty-three oh six. dollars Again, there could be um, one more food in there a little bit more but that's all right um it's still less than my budget so my budget for food is 300 dollars. even if i spend another 40 that's still less than my budget so doing better um it's not where i want it to be but it's an improvement i wanted it to be even less i was trying to do a real a, like a very low spend month for september didn't really happen but that's okay that is okay. I might, I think I might try again for October, but I mean, we'll see. Okay. So overall, this is how my budget is looking for. So I haven't paid my rent yet, but I'll pay that in the next week. Um, my utilities, um, my other category was over. So right now my other category is at 390. So 390 28, which is like, I'm like a hundred dollars over. It is what it is. My cell phone is a little bit over internet. Uh, my food will be under. Uh, my true local is my meat subscription box. So I cut that down to 125. I got the smaller box, which I'm very happy with. I don't need the large box. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it's just me. I don't need that much meat every month. So um, I'm gonna stick with the lower subscription because really that's really where I should be. So I'm very happy with that. Subscriptions, I cut it down a lot. So now it's 122. Um, I'm probably gonna skip one month, one of my boxes next month. Um, so I'm very excited for that because then it will be even less. So I it's getting better. Um, saving, I'm not sure because I did overspend in my other category. I don't know if I'm going to have money to put in my savings account. But I mean, I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. Um, so overall, I am happy. My food budget, I have drastically cut down and my subscriptions, I have drastically cut down. I was definitely overspending in those and those were the categories that I was worried about. So happy with that. But now I need to focus on my other category because I am way overspending at, on ridiculous crap that I really should, uh, I don't need to buy that much crap. So my other category is my next area that I'm going to be cutting down. <coughs> um, now this principle is from Jordan Page. This is this budget planner is from her as well. Um, and to basically break down, there's another category and a food category. That's kind of how she does her budget and how you know, her budget system works. That is a good plan. Um, however, I'm spending way too much money and I feel like I need to control myself much more. So I feel like for October, I'm going to break my budget down even more than I already have it. So break my other cut, my other category budget down to like how much I'm going to spend on Bella, how much I will spend on baking stuff. If I know I'm going to go to Walmart, how much am I going to spend at Walmart? How much am I going to spend at the dollar store? Like really breaking down my budget 
to exact categories so I know exactly how much I have. There's a part of me that wants to do cash because I know that I will control it more with cash. However, I don't get cash. Obviously, I use Visa for a reason to get my cash back. Um, I believe in that reason. It has saved me a lot of money. And nowadays, with COVID and everything, you know, I just don't want to be carrying cash around with me. You know, it feels dirty now. Um, so, but if... So if I break down my budget, I feel like that will really help. So I know exactly how much I have for each exact category where I'm planning on spending. Plan out exactly what I'm doing that month. If I know I'm going somewhere, how much are you going to spend there? That's how much you have to spend and like really focus on my other category. Because just having an other category and having $300 be the total amount is not working. I know it's not working because I'm like, well, I got 300 bucks. And then like, before you know it, you're way over that 300 bucks. So I really need to focus on my other category. So next week, um, I will kind of show how I figured out that and how I figured out my October budget to really break it down. I feel like that really helps um, when you're overspending, just having a total amount is just not working it's just not a feasible amount the reason I was able to break down to cut down my food budget is because yes I have $300 but I divide that by four four weeks in a month which means I get $75 every time I go grocery shopping because I go grocery shopping once a week <coughs> when I was sick I mean that kind of went out the window but in general I do it once a week and I might I have to spend under $75 $75 is actually a lot and I actually don't spend that much. So doing something very similar with my other category, I feel like will help. So that's kind of my goal. My goal is to cut down my other category. That's my next focus. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more and if you'd like to see the way that I am, the new way that I'm going to be doing my budget to really break down and cut down my other spending so I don't spend on random crap. <coughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video and have a great day.